Close your eyes and click your fingers around your head and notice how precisely you can pinpoint where it's coming from. You hear that? That's what CSGO is missing. It's no secret that CSGO has bad directional sound. No number of new gun sounds will change this. It requires a rework of the sound engine. A bit of a disclaimer, I'm far from an expert on this topic, but I've got a load of cool examples I really want to share with you. Just treat this as an entertaining video and walk away from it knowing that CSGO's directional sound leaves a lot to be desired. Firstly, for surround sound there's no need for us to have 5, 7 or 360 speakers around us. We have two ears, well most of us. With the correct implementation, a stereo headset can simulate surround sound, based on minuscule delays and echoes between our ears that your brain uses to pinpoint where sounds are coming from. For real world recordings it's simple, you use two microphones, one placed in either ear of a model human head. When equipped with properly designed ears, it accurately simulates how yours work and there are some pretty cool examples of this in action that you can listen to right now with headphones on. Pretty cool, but this can also be simulated in the virtual environments of games. There are some prototype sound engines that accurately simulate it, like this G-Sound demonstration from 2011. Green lines are reflection paths and yellow lines indicate diffraction paths. And more recently, AMD's True Audio and NVIDIA VRWorks Audio. As a result, the GPU is well suited to solve this problem. So far, none of these have really made their way into many proper games. Listening to these tech demos, they make it out to be intensive stuff that requires a powerful graphics card. Well, maybe their examples do, but convincing surround sound in games has been around for decades. In fact, long before we had convincing graphics, we had realistic audio. There was a company called Aureal that made 3D audio for games in the 90s. Here's a tech demo. It's perhaps one of the weirdest mixes of old and new tech that you'll ever hear. Sounds muffle as they go behind walls and you can accurately pinpoint where the sounds are coming from. It's fascinating stuff, made all the more eerie by low quality sound effects and 90s textureless graphics. There are examples of this technology in numerous old games, including Thief, Quake, and perhaps most upsettingly, Half-Life 1, as shown in this Half-Life 3 dimensional sound demonstration. So what happened? Well, according to Wikipedia, Creative sued them for patent infringement. Lost, but the cost of the lawsuits bankrupted Aureal, who were then bought by Creative. They then did nothing with the technology and pushed their own 5.1 surround sound speaker setups for a number of years. It's really sad when you think about it. Maybe this is why surround sound has sucked since then. So clearly, our computers are capable of decent surround sound. It's just red tape, legal battles and developers not caring much that stops it from making its way into our games. But it would be nice to be able to hear where enemies are coming from, not just from around us but from above and below as well. So until CSGO's sound engine can be upgraded, what can we do? Firstly, open backed headsets are meant to be better for directional sound, giving the impression that sounds are coming from around you rather than from inside your head. But don't just take my word for it, listen to this video from Linus where he talks about this stuff. Ironically the video's sound will only play out of your right speaker. Anyway, the illusion of sound coming from around you is known as the headset's sound stage. It's the reason I got the Audio Technica AD700s after I sat on and broke my old Sennheisers, since they're supposed to have a very large sound stage. Just don't try to listen to open backed headsets in public places because you won't hear much and you'll annoy everyone around you. But even these aren't going to fix CSGO's sound. Things can be largely helped by intelligent level design. Take Nuke for example, which is a perfect example of what not to do. Having most of the combat play out on top of itself makes directional sound very important and the Source version in particular has been criticised because of this. They took steps to improve it by adding metal to the lower bomb site to help players to distinguish between footsteps. Since then they've revamped the map entirely and I'm sure that thought was put into deciding which surfaces should have which sort of material. But it's still not a proper solution. 1.6 players will swear that it didn't used to be a problem and that CSGO's sound system has made it a lot worse. And lastly, you could try using some third party software to simulate surround sound. A while ago I posted a controversial video on Razer's surround sound software. I was accused of being a sellout and all that, but I can assure you that I didn't receive any sweet, sweet money from Razer. I was just doing my best to help you guys. Honest. And I still am. The basic version is still up for download and if you have a Razer product it will give you a better version for free. Some complain that it delays the audio and all that, but I'd still say it's worth a try since it might improve things for you if CSGO's limited surround sound support is really annoying you. One day, CSGO might get better surround sound, but how much better do we want? Is it possible for sounds to become too realistic? I'd argue that Armour 3, a game that prides itself in being as realistic as possible, goes too far. It's cool that guns sound different in enclosed spaces, something that Half-Life 1 also did by the way, but in this example you can even see that it models the speed of sound playing the explosion long after you see it happening. Would this sort of delay help CSGO? 
or is it a little bit too far for a game that doesn't even model bullet physics? And that weird 90s A3D example bounces sounds off walls, which when combined with muffling stuff behind walls, can make it sound like sounds are coming from the opposite direction than they actually are. This is realistic, but do we want this in CSGO? Would it be enough just to have good directional sound that drops off as it gets further away? This sounds simple enough, but some games still don't even manage this properly. 